Hey, hey everybody, this is Pastor Roy from Catfish Creek Trailer Park in Cleo, South Carolina. That's in Marlboro County with an M, just like the cigarettes. Anyways, I was, I was, I, I have an important emergency announcement for you today because there's a, there's big hubba, hubba, hullabub stuff going on about the, the Starbucks people. And, and I was talking to Jesus this morning. He is just, he is pissed off. Just, I, I usually don't word the, use the word, but he was, it was the only word I could say to describe what Jesus, Jesus is pissed. And it's, it's not what you think, see, because there's a lot of people just going crazy, like a red headed feller, on uh, red headed feller. He he wears a red hat. Jo- he's he's uh, Joshua uh, fear. He's got a uh, he's he's a Jewish dude, I think. Anyway, he's got a Stein in his name, like that Ben Stein that, that gives away the monies. And so, anyway, he's, it's, this is really important because it's not good, it's bad, but it's good, too. I got good news and some, and some kind of bad news that's going to be good, too. You're going to love it all. It's, it's all around. If you hear the whole thing, it's pretty good news altogether, except a little bad. And the bottom line is, is I was talking to Jesus. We we're just sitting there in, in 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 the baptism font this morning, and he was he was just irritated. It was it was vibrating the water. He was irritated, and I could tell. And so anyway, I said, "What's going on, Jesus? What's what's happening? With what's, what's going on?" And so he's telling me all about this this Starbucks. Starbucks is coffee. If you don't know, that's coffee for rich people. That's coffee they get. They pay like seven hundred dollars a cup. It's really supposed to be really good. It's got little flakes of gold in it and stuff, and make make you uh it it's it's the best caffeine in the world. They said. So anyway, it's for rich people, but you've probably seen them because there's a lot of them little stores everywhere. There's one in the old Blockbuster building, and they 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 do pretty. I I still would rather have the blockbuster there because I could I could get a dollar movie, but I can't afford a seventeen dollar cup of coffee. But anyways, here's the deal, folks. Here's the deal. Everybody's just freaking out because forever they've been a capitalist company. They just always capitalizing on the on the moments and the Christmas moments, especially. They just they go with snowflakes and reindeers and and like stuff like uh. Like uh, snowflakes. Did I already say that one? Anyway, they put all kinds of Christmas stuffs on there, but it's not really Christmas stuff. See, they don't have no Jesus stuff. They don't put like just one star or something like the or the three wise men, something like that. They they're always about the commercial, the blinking light stuff. So, anyways, I was I was talking to Jesus and Jesus said no that that this is this is a good thing because the blood of Jesus and so I I wasn't sure so I went down to the local Starbucks and I I just said could I buy a cup I don't want to I don't want to buy the 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 drink the expensive drink can I just get a cup and they they wouldn't sell me just a cup so they said that I had to buy a drink in it which I didn't have my debit card and they don't take food stamps so I couldn't get one. But they they are pretty. I did take a picture with my camera. It's a pretty picture, and I'll show it to you. But it's a, it's it's just a red cup with the naked mermaid on it. That's it. That's that's their logo, which you can expect. That's capital. I support capitalism, and because you're supposed to, Jesus supported capitalism, and so anyway the. The the little the logo is is okay. That's it doesn't show no nipple slips or nothing. It's just the a mermaid girl, a naked mermaid girl with her hair covering her boobs. So anyway, she has the rest of the cup is just plain red, just plain red. But what does that make you think of, brothers sisters? If you think about this, if you're a true Christian and you follow Pastor Roy at Catfish Creek First Baptist Coastal Church, you know. That that right there is is one hundred percent. That's the blood of Jesus, and so I wanted to find out. So I went down there to the Starbucks in the old Blockbuster building, and I looked and and I I went straight to the top because I said we have to find out the corporate CEOs what they says is the reasons behind not not taking in all the 
the commercialisms over the logos and stuff. So what I did is I asked them, I said, I went straight to talk. Well, she, I don't know if she's a talk. She works there. She's a little, little cute little girl with a little apron on. She's got a little apron in case she spills her drink or something on herself. And she's like, maybe they should give their, all of them had aprons. So maybe they should give them like sippy cups. But either way, the, the, she was very, very, very nice, and she said uh, she couldn't confirm or deny th- this, but I already know because I talked to Jesus, like I said. And it is the blood of Jesus. The cups are the blood of Jesus. So that's even better than stars and reindeers and rabbits and stuff. That's Easter bunnies. That's better than all the candy corns and, and scary ghosts. It's just way better. Because the whole cup is, just, except for a naked mermaid, it's all red, like the blood of Jesus. And that was the message they were putting out, is remember the season for a reason. Well, it's remember the reason for the, for the, for the winners, because of global warming and stuff. So, anyway, that's, that's what this comes down to. It's the blood of Jesus. Go get your, if you're rich... And I know some of you are rich because the Lord has been good to you. you just go get you some uh, red cup coffee. That's good coffee. They say it is. I'm going to have a sip one day. Somebody's going to leave some. One guy threw away his cup when he left the store, and, and I I tried to see if he had any left, and he didn't. I was going to sneak, a, a, sneak a, slip, a sip. So any if you just remember, you support Starbucks because they're a good Christian capitalistic company. And they don't have any bad. That it's all good. They are all about the good, and I love them. And so I hope that you won't listen to the Fierstein Joshes. He's a Fierstein monger. That's what he is. I'm Fierstein monger, er. And I love you, and Jesus loves you too. This is Pastor Roy, Catfish Creek First Baptist Church in Cleo, South Carolina. Love you.